In the Assassin's Creed universe, Eagle Vision is the sixth sense that lies dormant within human beings as a result of interbreeding between ancient human beings and Isu, a monster Isu, who naturally possess complete access to the sixth sense. Though each average human holds the potential to utilize it through intense and very long training, some rare individuals display a greater concentration of necessary Isu genes, and thus are more likely to naturally exhibit Eagle Vision as well as some of its more advanced variants. Now keep in mind, for this video I'm not going to mention anything related to Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I think they're irrelevant and they kind of break canon in every single way and they're just ridiculous games. If you want my full review of all the games, check out Ranking Assassin's Creed. Those who possess the gift are able to instinctively sense how people and objects relate to them, which manifests as a coloured glow, much like an aura. Red indicates enemies or spilled blood, blue indicates allies, white indicates sources of information or hiding spots and gold indicates targets or objects of interest. However, as Desmond Miles was, at least initially, unaware of Lucy Stillman's true affiliation with the Templar Order, it suggests the Sixth Sense is not entirely infallible. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, it means that uh, Ubisoft didn't pay the actor enough money. When an individual masters Eagle Vision, the ability can evolve to more advanced Eagle Sense. This stage heightens all the senses of its user, allowing them to detect the heartbeat of a target in the area or even foresee a target's path. Some individuals also develop exotic variants of the gift, one application allowing its wielder to peer into the memories of their target upon killing them, while another one allowed a gifted individual to become a kind of detector, knowing when someone was lying or telling the truth to them. The assassin Altair ibn La Ahad possessed eagle vision from an early age. His fellow assassins in the Levitan Brotherhood knew of his special ability as well, and were the ones to dub it eagle vision. With it, Altair found himself able to read the emotions and intentions of those around him, driving him to perfect the ability in secret. In his later life, he would make use of it during his training in many assassinations and investigations. Altair's eagle vision proved particularly useful during his duel with mentor Al Mulin, who used the Apple of Eden to create phantoms of himself. With this ability, Altair was able to pinpoint the true Al Mulin from the crowd of illusions and kill him. Ezio Auditori da Friende, much like Altair, possessed eagle vision and made use of it to locate hidden patches, as well as to predict the intentions of his allies and enemies. Additionally, he was also able to see the map hidden beneath the pages of Altair's codex with it. Though it was never explicitly labelled Eagle Vision, the Giovanni Auditori da Frienze once referred to Ezio's ability as Talent. The Ottoman assassins also knew of Ezio's ability, even before they had met him. The master thief, La Volpe, was thought to possess an advanced form of Eagle Vision, with rumours spread by Florentine citizens claiming he could see through buildings. 